fastest growing industries in the world today, with New York, London, Tel Aviv, Edinburgh, Singapore, Moscow, and other major cities all vying for a piece of the action. Welcome to Breaking Banks, the first dedicated radio show that focuses on how this new boom is changing everything, from the way we bank to the very concept of money itself. Now, here's your host, Brett King. Well, welcome, everybody. It's J.P. Nichols sitting in for for Brett this week on Breaking Banks, coming live from London. It's been a great week. I'm here with Liz Lumley. Liz, thanks for hosting us here at uh, FinTech Bootcamp. Yeah, Startup Bootcamp FinTech. Uh, uh, yes. Startup Bootcamp <laughs> FinTech. Yes. Sorry. Well, actually, we're in the, we're in the, the belly world. of the beast right at the moment. We're in the insurance accelerator. So. We are. Well, well, listen, why don't you sit in? Oh, cool. Stay That's on awesome. the show. I need a sidekick. <laughs> That's exactly what I wanted. When I saw you at Finnovate, I thought, how can I muscle in? That's perfect. So I've always wanted a sidekick. <laughs> when you see me at Copenhagen at Money 2020, you can return the favor. Can I be your sidekick? Yes, yes. Perfect. <laughs> All right, so it's Finnovate week here. So two yeah. days of FinTech, 72 companies and mm. back-to-back seven-minute demos. Mm. The Shark Tank without the sharks, or at least they're swimming outside, <laughs> Dragon's I Den, guess. Dragon's Den, we call it in the UK. The Dragon's Den, yes. yes. <laughs> so... What did you think? Did you find anything super It was, I mean, Finnovate's always a, a huge, you know, uh, date on the fintech calendar. I see a lot of the mature companies in, in the fintech space, and you can really see the trends. You know, a number of years ago, you saw a lot of PFM, a lot of payments, and, of course, you know what I'm going to say, what we saw a lot of uh, over the past two days. Well, a ton. You know, about a third of the companies demoing were some sort of well for trading or capital markets and mm. I tweeted out from the show something that I think was very true I've been going to but I don't know what number this is maybe my 14th Finnovate I didn't have my third sticker so I think that means it was 14 it wasn't quite very any stickers. no stickers <laughs> you get one for every five shows okay, okay. <laughs> but I remember tweeting out why isn't there anyone from wealth management here in this this is a very old part of the business that's ripe for disruption. Mm-hmm. And now here, four of the first ten demos were wealth management and mm-hmm. almost a third of all the demos. I mean, it's, it's reflected in trends that we saw here at Startup Bootcamp. Our, our FinTech cohort last year, the nine companies, five of the nine were asset management, wealth-related companies. So this is definitely a trend. And I'm glad you mentioned capital markets. There's always this small part of my heart that, that remains in capital markets, but I think that area is right for the, the FinTech uh disruption to, to influence that part of the bank. Yes, yeah, that's, that's your background. So mm-hmm. there's a little less up there. I, I take it back. So the why I, I circled two areas where we saw a lot. That was a lot. It was about maybe 20% of that. Mm-hmm. Actually, a third was kind of roughly grouping together anything around digital banking, mm-hmm. customer experience, user experience, improving the effects, whether it's onboarding or marketing effectiveness or whatever. That was really the number one. Yeah. But number two, wealth management, clearly a theme. Yeah, very much so. Yeah. Well, we're going to have uh, three of the Best in Show winners here with us. We're going to have uh, one coming up live here, Capitalize, and a couple of others joining us on the phone. But also live with us here is Gela Boscovich from Zafin. Welcome. Hello, hello. Thank you. Thanks for having me on. The queen of the femtech (laughs) movement. Yes. So we're here live from London, literally right outside Mm. the Tower Bridge, and we're starting with three Americans. But one (laughs) of them... That's why. London's the fintech capital of the world because this is what you find here. It it's is international. It's the pull. It well, pulls. Mm-hmm. It's the heart. Pulls. You want to get back to the heart of it, right? Mm-hmm. The three of us had dinner last night with people from what nine All countries the, yes. or something. <laughs> but you're a British citizen now. I that's, am. I am. Does that's that right. Mean? And you seem to be at least a London resident. Indeed. It's, it's- Pending. It's coming quickly. So Moving soon. Trying to pack it all up, or at least decide what what's important enough to bring along and. Take a flag in the UK. <laughs> well, that's great. So the femtech movement, our friend and fellow host Sam Ball has uh, been a large proponent of this, as have you. So we've picked off femtech leaders, and we think we're proud to support and promote that as well. Talk a little bit about the meetup that you had last night. Um, where was it? Who was there? And what was it all about? Yeah, really. Well, first off, thanks for the support. And uh, credit goes to Sam Mall and, and Christine Duhane, especially at the Digital Finance Institute, they really were at the root of this. Um, just to give a brief background, it all started with a couple of tweets about who to follow in fintech and mm-hmm. what women to follow in fintech. And Initribe paid attention and commissioned a report uh, looking at who are these people that we're not paying attention to and that, is there actually a gender gap in, in financial services and banking? And yes. uh, <laughs> clearly, <laughs> clearly. And commissioned a report that actually was um, shared, uh, a large report that was shared last, uh, 
what was it, October at Cyrus mm -hmm. in 2015. And Sam has actually taken on the project of interviewing all of these women. And there is a huge database, I want to almost say binders of women, mm -hmm. um, reflecting the, the really bad American presidential race. Uh, yeah, previously. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Networks of women. Um, but uh, we have a website, femtechleaders.com. And uh, in looking at all of these profiles of these amazing women, I thought, I want to meet them. I want to talk to them. There's something here. They're interesting. I need to know who these people are. And I suspect that we all feel this way. And so a community has been created. And we've had a couple of meetups. So this was our first one in London. Last night was supported by the Lloyd's Digital Banking Group. Uh, Claire Calm Jane was amazing mm -hmm. to step up and, and help us find some space. And there were over 100 of us that gathered last night to really connect on a personal level. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of women and really some amazing men that showed up. Thank you, JP, for being there. My I mean, also, I mean, the head of, head of the Lloyd's Digital, Miguel, he does how important this is to... It, it really is. The bank is incredibly supportive, and they recognize that uh, they are making improvements and continue to make improvements in, in diversifying their staff and their employees, and they want to reflect the customers that they serve. And clearly, that, that's, a, that's an incredibly diverse slot. Mm -hmm. So it's important to bring women into the fold, um, as well as anyone else who has happens to not be, let's be honest, a, a, a white man in tech. Um, so we have plenty of those. You've got a lot of them. So, <laughs> and you know, listen, I'm all for the broadest the set of diverse views we can bring to Absolutely. people from all different backgrounds, and uh, I'm pleased to help and some. I appreciate it. But I mean, it really comes down to this. It is the more diversity we have in thought, the more creative approaches we have in finding a solution that actually works, whatever the problem happens to be, whatever challenge happens to be. Banking, same principle. Technology, same principle. There are a myriad roads that will take us to a solution. So this is a reflection of it. Wow, well, that's great. So this is a labor law, of course, but an application. You have a day job. So talk about that real quick. I work at Appen. It's a Canadian company. Uh, we've been around for about 14 years now, 30 clients globally and growing. Uh, but we really focus on enhancing the customer experience. And it really is about how do we design products or enable banks to design products that fit their customer base and are responsive to those demands, um, helping them price, helping them manage those offers, ultimately build, and then create a true relationship banking experience. And that is my day job. I, I make sure that we actually bring that message to the banks on, on a daily basis. Great, great. Well, thanks for being here with us, and thanks for everything you're doing with uh, the Femtech Leaders movement, and thanks for being here at Finnovate. So, you know, just back to Finnovate for a second mm -hmm. and talk about some of the other shows that are, that are going on before we bring on our next guest. Uh, you know, Finnovate started in 2007. It's the largest demo-based fintech show, and and I think this was uh, the largest show we've ever had in Europe. And the second largest show. It was packed. It was yeah, it was yeah. jammed packed in, in old buildings. So they've got another show. That they've been uh, starting these new shows called Findeavor, mm -hmm. focused earlier in the development stage, so with the developers. So there's one coming up in New York City on March 29th. So uh, at findeavor.com. And, uh, of course, Finnovate will be back to Silicon Valley on March uh, 10th and 11th. And the day after that, that uh, I'm happy to report the next bank will be going to SiliconValleyForSpeakPlusA.com for that. And uh, the other thing I want to mention, our friends at DFI and the FinTech Association of Canada, they have FinTech 2016 coming up. It's their second annual FinTech conference in Vancouver. That's on April 14th, and you can register for that at FinTech16.com. So, um while we're at it, why don't we bring in our um, next guest? So, Capitalize, uh, one of actually, uh, strangely enough, one of two companies called uh, Capitalize, so that was a little strange. Here's a uh, dot FE, yeah. right? And joining us here is Shahar. <laughs> how, how did America do on, on that uh, Israeli uh, name, right? You're from Tel Aviv? You did great, you did great. Yeah, we are from Tel Aviv, yes. Yeah, welcome. For First time in Finnovate? First time in First time in London. Very excited. You know, great was a great venue. First time you win Best in Show. Straight First up. time Best of Show, yeah. Wow, it doesn't get any better than that. It doesn't, doesn't get any better than that. It was very exciting. Um, we couldn't hope for a better event. Uh, everybody showed up at our booth. It was uh, excellent. Yeah. Great, great. Well, talk talk just a little bit about Capitalize and just give us a, just a quick uh, uh, overview of what it is and people can check it out at 
uh, capital I dot S-E, Thank right? you, yes. Yeah. Right. So Capitalize is a trading platform that lets you use your own words in order to automate your investments. Um, so you would write down uh, something simple such as, I want to buy one local stocks and just launch it uh, and go with it. But if uh, Starbucks uh, stock price uh, breaks 60 while the coffee future prices drops by more than one cent, I want to buy, uh, I want to buy that. I wonder if I can shows of Starbucks, for example. So you can literally uh, generate a complex scenarios and automate your trading investment ideas. So our vision is that instead of using a portfolio of single trading positions such as we all do today, you will take your ideas and move them to the computer and let the computer trade for you. Well, you had beautiful user experience, beautiful design, and, and taking those natural language prompts and turning them into trading ideas. Who's the user for that? Is this an experienced trader? Is this a day trader? Is this a wealth manager? We start naturally, uh, like most startups do, trying to solve our own problem. We're professional traders, so we thought naturally professional traders would love to use that. But when we met with a lot of traders along the way, we found that uh, you know, common traders, common investors, people – who might have not used uh, uh, the today's platform in order to invest will love to use this kind of product uh, to invest in the market. So also the simple, uh, uh, you know, novice traders. Um, so we kind of lowered the barriers between the novice traders and uh, you know complex world of uh, investing uh, in finance. So literally both. Oh, that's great. So what did you think of the Finovate experience being on stage? Seven minutes goes by pretty quickly, doesn't it? Seven minutes goes but very quickly, uh, I'm not sure what happened. Uh, we both can't really remember. We didn't see it. We obviously did something right. <laughs> we did something right with practice, and uh, uh, and it shows. And uh, we really appreciate uh, everyone who voted for us. Uh, we had a blast. It was a big venue to, to launch our products. Very professional. A lot of people turned up, uh, really wanted to learn and, and discover great technology. So. Everything uh, kind of clicked and worked out. Okay. There, there, are, there, are, there are a lot of fintech companies that have come out of Tel Aviv. Yes. Um, it seems, I mean, what, what's the, the ecosystem like there um, with all the companies? Well, this is something that is fairly new, past two or three years, because Tel Aviv obviously has a lot of startups, uh, but not so much in the fintech area mm-hmm. until two or three years ago. And this is uh, something that really started to develop. Um, Citibank has been accelerating Tel Aviv, and more and more companies are bringing uh, technology and knowledge uh, in the financial arena to Tel Aviv. So this really helps uh, our local community to grow startups uh, around the fintech. But um, we all seek the international and um, global exposure, so we come to London, we come to New York, Chicago, uh, naturally the financial hubs of, uh, of the world. Well, you know, before you joined, uh, Liz and I were talking about there were quite a few companies that are focused on wealth or trading or, or capital markets, about maybe 20% or so. Uh, are, are you seeing it as a crowded field or still open opportunity from your perspective? From our perspective, it's wide open, um, you know, people use people to trade for them. We want to let, uh, you know, allow people to use technology in order to invest themselves, and it seems like no one has gone that road uh, before, and uh, when we, we showcased our uh, solution, it seems to hit a chord. Um, for us, it's a great opportunity, and hopefully, you know... So can say people use technology, what type of technology is used to help people trade them? So we've seen a lot of uh, technology in the social uh, social arena, mm-hmm. such as uh, eToro, which is itself a uh, one five times uh, best of show. I come from eToro, so that's why. I, uh, is, that, is that an inspiration for you, eToro? Of course, I've learned everything I know from uh, eToro. I'm not ashamed to say, to say that. Um, another Breaking Banks alumni. Another Breaking Banks alumni. Okay, yeah. <laughs> and um, yes, yeah, so social technologies, you know, clear cut. Um, Simple uh, user experience interfaces that help people do more themselves, and this is what we see more, more and more in a lot of our fields, uh, like KYC and uh, investing and, and payments and all across the board. Well, that's good. So, what advice do you have for people following in your shoes to uh, start their company and uh, try to? Take it live. It's such a big stage as Finovate. First of all, just just start. Go for it. Uh, it's 
if you don't uh, if you don't start, you'll never know what what you're missing. Uh, it's a roller coaster. Uh, enjoy the enjoy the you know, the road. Uh, we're only just getting started, so uh, for us uh, the road is still long. And if you're going to think of it, prepare, prepare, prepare. Uh, uh, and when, when you do, just come out and you know, have a blast. And so, will you be coming back to London soon? Uh, for sure. We have so many uh, leads this, uh, from this Finovate, and um, be sure seeing this uh, clear blue sky today uh, very soon. Yeah, so it was a little seductive, a clear blue sky today. Yeah, yeah, I, I swear, it's just like this all winter long. Shine on Finovate. It was awful, but... Well, she sun all shines on FinTech. <laughs> so, um, just before we head to our break, I uh, first of all I want to thank uh, Shahar Rabin from Capitalize, uh, it was spelled with a uh, S E and a dot before the S E. Uh, so, European spelling, not uh, no, no Z here, no Z. Uh, pretty American. <laughs> yeah, but, uh, yes. So, uh, I want to remind everybody about our sponsor, Thomas. Uh, check them out at templates.com. They've got an innovation jam coming up in Miami on March 10th. Uh, Brett King will be the main speaker, giving feedback to the innovators working there. Are you going to that list? Uh, no, I'm not. I'm sorry to you. I'll watch on Twitter. Yeah. You follow on Twitter? So at BrettKingBacks.com, again, a link for registration for the Temenos Innovation Jam, and another one coming up in Singapore on March 22nd, and I'm doing that one, so uh, we'll be carrying the Britain Bank standard uh, to the Temenos Jam in Asia. It never does. It never does. <laughs> <laughs>